I hate Bide. I absolutely hate it. I'm switching out. Um, if I uh, if I lose Thor because of Bide, I am gonna be so sad. Really? Oh, I should have quick attack. <clears throat> Get up myself. Oh, I'm dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. There goes Thor. I I knew it. Too good to be true. I hate caves. What's up, everybody? It's the Tank47. Welcome back to the channel where we're finally getting back into episode number two of Pokemon Insurgents. I've been dying to get back into this, so I can't wait to see what the future of this game holds for us. Uh, Pokemon Insurgents is a fan-made game based on taking out cult leaders with a much, much darker storyline than the typical mainline Pokemon series. I really like this game so far. The music is A+. Plus. I gotta say, this is the best fan-made music I've ever heard in a Pokemon game. So I'm really excited to see what else this game has for us. If you guys did miss episode one, I do have that up on the channel now. It's gonna all be in a playlist for you guys, so make sure you guys do hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on alerts to get notified when I drop episode number three. And more, as we are going to be doing a Scarlet Violet Soul Link with one of my homies pretty soon. So I'm excited to see all this the coming in 2023 and this just January. I can't wait to see what this year has in store for us. So let's go ahead and get into the episode. Um, if you did miss last episode, we did get our first encounter. We also lost for the first time right away. Um, so that was fun. But let's do a quick team recap. So we got Derek, Derek the Custom... Delta form Girafferig. And I didn't check out the abilities in our last episode, which shame on me. Uh, what kind of Pokemon trainer ch doesn't check the abilities right away? So we have Stench on this Girafferig, which now it makes sense why I was making so many flinches, because the ability Stench may cause the target to flinch. And this, of course, has the quiet nature. Um, and then we got our starter, Rico the Mamoswine, uh, who has a brave nature. And the Snow Cloak ability, which allows me to raise my evasion in a snowstorm, which will come in handy when I get um, hail and other moves in the future. So now we are on our way to Midna Town. So let's go ahead and see where we're going. I can't remember the path to get there. I don't think it's this way, though. I think this just brings us back up to that cave. Oh, this would have been an awesome encounter. Ah, uh, this will be good um, experience. Uh, I guess not. Only 57. It should typically starters give out good experience when you beat them, but of course, that low of a level make sense that I would not. Alright, so that is back to the start of the game. So I gotta go through the Shade Forest to get to the next area. So there has to be parts of the Shade Forest that we have not yet explored. I think I've gone off that way. I don't think I've gone this way yet. As is evident by finding a Carbos. And again, we haven't found any dummy broken items yet, but we do get a defense pill, which will permanently raise the defense of one of our Pokemon. Um, as soon as we get uh, more of a team developed, we'll decide who we want to use that on. Alright, I'm just doing this for even the, the little bit of XP helps. Okay, so the starter did give boosted XP in comparison to another level 5 mon. So, this brings us back that way. So, does it have to be through this path? It has to be then, right? Because I don't see any other way for us to get 
through the shade forest this way. Yeah, because this brings us all in a giant loop. And we are back here. Oh, but I almost missed an item. And X Special 6. So the X Specials, I think they did a lot of rework to the uh, special um, increases in battles. So that way it actually makes them usable. They had a Noibat here. Stomp that thing into oblivion. Alright, let's see if we can get out of this forest. Maybe we'll get into the cave. Because I think I had to go all the way back to where I was in the cave. And then I can get out that way. I should just run from those. I'm not even getting any experience. Because in that cave, we did get cut short. We didn't even find the rare stone that we were actually heading in there for. If this keeps up, I'm going to need that repel. All right, we got a level 9 Palpitoad. We should be able to at least get some decent um, XP here. That stench ability, man, I'm telling you. Causing the random flinches. Derek is already up at level 15. We should actually probably swap out Derek and Rico, get some XP gain there. I don't know who, what level the first boss fight will be, which I think will take place in the normal gym battle. A swaddle. I don't know if there is a level cap, but there does not appear to be as of now. You can only go down the stairs if you're looking at it. A Swana. Thought it was a bombardier for a second. I was about to get high heaven gen 9 in here. Oh yeah, I forgot your water. All right, endure. Um, let's see. Do we wanna? Gives me a guaranteed chance of one. So I don't real have have a weakness to water. So I'm gonna forget Bud Sport. In place of endure, which will give me. Hope that I can keep this mod alive. So far, getting a solid matchups. Thankfully, we haven't ran into anything crazy that can kill us. Down this hill. Encounter Haven. Little baby needle ran. This should just be an easy. I do like the battle overlay they have here with the defensive or with the uh, stats that pop up when you do have something lowered or raised. Oh, wow, that actually did some damage. We did stock up on potions and Pokeballs before we left um, to head to the cave. All right, we are back to where we made it last time before we got cutscene. Yeah. 
And we got a vanilla light. Let's see what items we got left in this cave, because I'm assuming that that doorway there is the pathway to Route 1, which we can get another encounter finally. It's funny to see a mammoth swine out speeding a dog. Alright. And there's an item. I found one pixie plate. No idea what a. I'm assuming the pixie plate goes on Silvalli, but I can't be certain. Alright, we're gonna start running. We're almost level 15. We might as well try to get to level 15 here. No more encounter. Ah. All right, one more encounter here, and then we should be finally out of this cave. This cave is much nicer than most games of Pokemon games, as I haven't lost a Pokemon in it yet. And in Canada. I said one last encounter and then I got one more encounter. But there's level 15. Alright, this is still the Shade Forest. And now we are Route 1, so we can now get a new encounter. We found an Enigma Berry. So I want to try to get this encounter first as we step into one patch of grass. Let's go, starter! Let's go! A, a septile. <coughs> so I think all my moves here kill. Alright, we got a berry there. Okay, no. I don't... I'm actually shocked that that did that little damage. Alright, let's lower the accuracy. And whittle down the health here. We can't apply any status other than poison, so we're not going to apply any status. And your catch rate shouldn't be horrible. Being a third stage, though, may make it a little bit harder. So I gave him a 1 in 3 shot to actually hit a move. This should be my last mud slap. Alright, I am now in catching territory. Let's see what we got. I think we just got Pokeballs. No more Premier Balls or any other special ones since we lost our first Nuzlocke run. He is not going to do probably any more damage to me. If he does, it won't be much. Alright, how many Pokeballs do we think we're going to use up here? We definitely want this on this team because this is easy experience uh, to level it. And it's already third stage, so this will help us big time immediately. But we still have a huge fire weakness. With all three of our Pokemon being weak to fire. We are not... Uh, this is not looking well. I mean, the only thing I could do is poison it or paralyze it. Oh, 
Oh, it finally hit a move. Oh, come on. Two shakes and that's it. my emotions stay in the ball all right we only have five more pokeballs we do have another route right after this though there we go all right so we always name our grass type pokemon after our dog so this septile is going to be named after thor There we go. If I could type without the caps lock. Alright, so we did pass up a trainer back here, so let's go ahead and box him quick. And of course, he sends out a mod that can body Rico right away, so let's change out to Derek. All right, do I got the the sleep um, flute? I know I picked up two flutes. Sweet. So we did get the permanent awakening flute. And all that leveling comes in handy as we're only five levels ahead of the Pokemon on this route. Um, let's smog it, get the poison off. Oh, we crit hit it anyway. Alright, so we're gonna outspeed so the stomp should... Oh! I would have been so sad! Um, we should still outspeed. Oh, man! We did not outspeed, but we barely survived, so that is a plus. Um, we definitely need to use up some potions now, guys. I would not be able to forgive myself if I lost a mod on something so small. Alright, we'll use a potion on Rico and two on Derek. Um, we're not gonna put any potions on Thor. Actually, though, let's check out what Thor's ability is. Came holding a pink scarf. We have the Overgrow ability, which is its normal ability. Alright, we got one more trainer here. Alright, the Ruined Maniac Mark wants to send out Panpour, so we got a decent matchup. Not great with the ground weakness. But, let's hit out with the Peck. Okay, we're good. And we got Oshawa coming in with our attack lowered. Let's switch into Derek to get that off. We got the poison as well. That's nice. Alright. Easy peasy. On to the next trainer. <laughs> I 
I think I'm lost. Will you battle me to help me find my way? All right, Lady Lana. All right, we got the... Dark Poison? Dark Poison Nummel. Does it retain any fire? No, it does have fire in it, I think. Poison fire? And it's a good thing we got the antidotes. Alright, switch out Metacham. Or before Metacham to Derek. Avoid taking all that poison damage. What are you, grass? I think you're grass. Got the poison. Keeps wanting to drop my attack. And it, it's succeeding at dropping my attack. Good thing we got the poison to wear it down. And this should kill it. Almost just walked my mammoth swine to death. Um, where is these antidotes? Alright, so we got the dark cave here, so we need to come back once we learn Flash. Electrolyzer. So now all we need is an Elekid. Would you like to trade Pokemon? The Pokemon I'm really looking for is Piplup, but I can't... Will you trade it? I'll trade you my rarest one for one. I don't have a Piplup. But we will see if we eventually come across one. You're another battler. <coughs> We got Galele. Let's just go ahead and get to level 16 with the Mud Slap. Uh, are we tied on speed? Interesting. I think we are speed tied. I won a three out of the four rounds on the speed tie, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and use one more potion just to be safe. All right, so we got one more trainer here. Someone who buys Pokemon, which boy knocks. I think your part grass or part or snow should uh, be nice. All right, so we got Regirock who could explode. I don't think this is going to do a lot of damage, but we'll give it a couple of rounds of powder snow. One more powder snow? Two more. Alright, this was just a fair trade here. I'll, I'll bet along. Got a crap ton of experience, though.
Oh, I can avoid some trainers. All right, and we finally made it to Minotown. We'll save some of those trainers for some leveling of our Sceptile. All right, welcome to Midna Town. See what we got around this town. We need to be able to climb rocks to get to the next town. See what we got here. There's Pokemon races in Santa City. Third fastest non-mega and non-legendary Pokemon. I like the mixture of uh, idle talk. Alright, let's go ahead and swap our Thor out to the front. Make sure we get some levels there. There's a guy that lets you create your own moves. Alright, so there is a... Um, name reader and a move deleter in every town. Typhlosion, Eevee, Marowak, uh, all got new Mega Evolution. That's cool. I think that is one of my favorite parts about the game are the custom Pokemon. This guy came from the Johto region back in those days. We only just discovered Dark and Steel. Slack off for a Toga Tech. Uh, no, thank you. Because if I get a Slack off in this game, it's most likely not going to have the Truant ability. Apparently, it's hard to master. Okay, we got the HP pill. Uh, master more than one type of Pokemon, which is interesting. Alright, let's start upstairs on this place. See who we got up here. Just in some guy's bedroom. Oh, there are gyms in this region, so that's cool. So we will have a traditional Nuzlocke style. The first auger was also a gym leader. Most likely will be our one of our challenges in the game. A statue of the first auger who's rode on Arceus himself. I like how that lady just called out the Poke uh, Pokedex entries, as Muscargo's body is not harder than a volcano itself. Hair cross for any water type. So if I get a random, like, I don't even know, something but, like, a palpitoad. Um, I can go back and get a Heracross, which is one of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite Bug-type Pokemon. We got a Unknown. Oh, the Unknown is holding an item. I know, just gave away her old lady's potion. So I am not going to choose one. Um, because just in case I get an Eevee or something, I want to come back. He talks to rocks, huh? All right, so that lady won't let me leave this town. We can get another encounter there. Let's 
go into the trainer school first. Welcome to the Midna Town Trainer School. I'm the teacher here. I'm hoping to raise young boys and girls to become expert battlers and even better citizens. If you take classes here, I'll be happy to teach you what I know. Would you like to sign up? Great. We were actually just about to start the tournament between our, our students. If you want to join, it would be a great way to practice and improve. Unfortunately, one of our students, Nora, has seemed to gone missing. We can't start the tournament without her, so I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Okay. So there's our homie from episode one. I don't think any of these guys are gonna have anything for me. Yep, nothing there for me. Um, I'm assuming that means she's probably gone off into the cave. We got another pixie plate. Alright, let's battle this trainer before we get our third or fourth encounter. Okay, we got a good matchup here. But well, we only got one grass type move. Which is not helpful yet. That should be a pretty good experience for Thor here. Not flying yet, so I should be good with ground type. I hate Bide. I absolutely hate it. I'm switching out. Um, if I if I lose Thor because of Bide, I am gonna be so sad. Really? I should have quick attacked. I should have quick attacked. I should have quick attacked. I fucked it up myself. Oh, I'm dumb. I am dumb, I am dumb, I am dumb. There goes Thor. I I knew it. Too good to be true, I hate caves! So much I hate caves. Alright, so we got Skrelp coming out. No poison, I was hoping for the poison. And there's the flinch. At least we got two powerhouses in Derek and Rico. But down goes Amon. And now we got the yellow flute. Alright, so itty bitty unknown. Still so mad at myself for losing Thor already. But it's bound to happen in a Nuzlocke series where we lose Mons due to dumb mistakes like not using the quick attack when he has 1 HP. And also having the mixture of Bide and and arena trap
He pickled me! Nah, that's not good. Actually, let's go ahead and just switch out with all of our uh, loss on stats there. Tail Slap is doing some work for him. Don't hit four times on me now. What is going on with that tail slap? Alright, there we go. Only two on that one. I should be able to get now the powder snow. Okay. This game is playing tricks with my heart, man. Alright, so we got Rico de or both Rico and Why a double battle? I got no health. Okay. <laughs> I had to I had to try it. Don't do it again. No more double battles, man. Wait, no, I just ran away from an encounter again! Oh my god. I had a gigalith opportunity. Oh I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. I only had four potions. I would have had to... Uh... Yeah, I would have had to pull out a miracle to catch it. But I am dumb for that one. We have lost a mod in this episode. We have. Um, where is the Poké Center? Um, we have ran away from an encounter. We've already had a bad start on this Nuzlocke by losing our very first run. Instantly almost. And now we got a dead. Uh, Sceptile to put in the box. Alright, we're gonna put box 24 as our dead box. Alright, let's see what else this town has to offer before we go back. Can't get any items out that way. I might have to buy some more potions as well. Alright, so we got a crap ton of money. We stocking up on them potions. We get seven more Pokeballs as well. And that should give us a good start. Not that we can catch another Pokemon because we ran away from our encounter. Now let's go back and see what else is in that cave. Because I'm pretty sure the lady that we need to talk to is either through the mine or in the mine. See, now, this would have been something cool to have as a starter as well. But, you know, we ran away from ours. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if my hate of caves continues 
Yeah, rich boy uh, Jaden sending out a Dedene. Alright, it's using charge. Dropping my defense. And keeping with a charge, I should be okay to kill on this turn. <laughs> I gotta worry about even normal trainers. This is gonna be a difficult game. I'm not looking forward to the gym battles. Alright. Yeah, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll go for ya. And of course you got a Haxorus. And, and you not only got a Haxorus, you got a custom form Haxorus. I have no idea what typing you are. You're an actual shark. An actual hammerhead shark? And the poison doesn't affect you. I'm not gonna... I'm trapped in the whirlpool. There goes my defense. Set me up. Ooh, I don't like this. Alright, so we got a potion off. Oh! Say what? How did that bite do so much? I should have I should have avoided you. What are you, homie? What are you, homie? Are you gonna use your super powered potion on me again? Or uh, bite on me? There it is. Oh man, that is impossible. What is that? All right guys, that is our failure number two. We're going to come back and start episode number three with a brand new start. Obviously, we can't go back to our old save, unfortunately. We were unable to progress that far. So we will be back in episode number three with a brand new start. Um, this game is going to be difficult. So we're going to we're gonna continue to press this one through, though. I really enjoy uh, how much fun this game is. It is a challenging, challenging game. So this is going to be a lot of fun to get through. We got eight gyms worth of this, plus a whole bunch of awesome boss fights. If this does get too difficult, we will change up the rules of the Nuzlocke run, but we will see. Um, overall, we'll try to keep to the rules as much as possible. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button on this video for me. Turn on alerts and subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a member today where you get awesome, awesome benefits like a whole day early access to all my content on this channel. Until next time, guys, peace. Thank you.